hundred up potentially for being a laminator, so again can sum up that team. Yeah, if, he, if he's selected, it'd be a hundred. Um, it, it's brilliant. I mean, I suppose I've known him since he's eighteen, since he came into the academy, and he always was. Uh, he was always a, a leader. You know, he always wanted to, I suppose, figure things out. And then once he figured them out, he was able to speak well and and lead well, and and I suppose set a bit of a set an example. And uh, you know, I think. He's had a great last few years in his career, I think, in terms of, um, I think he's he's fit. Uh, I think he understands the game more than ever and that allows him to to play really well and, and, and be aligned with what the coaches want and what's what's best for, for the team that he plays in. Um, you know, he communicates really well with the group. He sets a lovely tone. Uh, you know, we've guys that communicate in different ways and speak in different ways. He has a certain way of, of setting the tone. Um, uh, you know, there's never any BS about it, but it, it's always straight and to the point. And from that point of view, he's been great for us. So, you know, he had a, a period there a while back where he, he was on the bench and he was excellent on the bench for us as well. You know, he, he, he prepared the starting group really well. He prepared the subs really well you know, despite being a starter for so long. And uh, I think that period was good for him. And since he's gotten back into the team, uh, he, he hasn't let go. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm delighted, uh, I suppose, as a monster man, I'm delighted to see him getting a, a hundred caps if he, if he can get there at the weekend. So, uh, brilliant achievement and, and, and it's full credit to him. Uh, we haven't done a lot different, really. Uh, you know, we just, you know, against South Africa, it was a tough start. They were good defensively. We were probably poor on our behalf and, and, and on the drill. And, you know, they managed to sneak an extra man in for one of the lineouts uh, close to their line, which was disappointing. Um, but fair play to them. They, they were really good in the, at the start of the game. What I was delighted with was how the, the lads worked through it. How Ronan Kelleher and the line-out leaders worked through it and figured it out and got us back on track. Um, and mainly, it's just been about having a look at at where things have gone wrong. Um, you know, we haven't trained any differently or done anything differently. Really, it's been, you know, it's been real good learning for the lads. And luckily for us, you know, those learnings have come in in games that we've won. Um, so, so you know, against a real good line outside this weekend again. Who, who, who can cause problems for teams, and I'm sure they'll cause us a few problems. It'll be just down to how we react and, and how we handle them. Um, I think that's it. We just have to get better. I think that's one of the things the lads are really good at. They're, they're really good at staying focused on the next game and not looking beyond it. They, I think they kind of acknowledge you know, whenever we've been on tour down in New Zealand or whenever we were playing in, uh, in the Six Nations, you know, in terms of having a chance of winning it, they acknowledge it, they, they might have a quick chat about it and that allows them then focus on just what's in front of them. So staying focused on this game and, and, and absolutely nothing else is a skill set they've gotten really good at. And then we just got to get better. There's a lot of things that we were... We were excellent against uh, at against South Africa. But there's a lot of things we can improve on um, um, in terms of our attack, in terms of our defence, um, in terms of the rock line out, obviously. So there's always bits to get better at, and that's what that's what I think sometimes helps the lads kind of tune out the noise a little bit of 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 what might happen after the game. They they enjoy focusing on the bits and pieces that that helps them be better and. They can ignore the bigger picture of the game at the weekend. Rory, sorry, Jason, we've been live. Let's get through. So, obviously, Rory, what do you think about everyone coming to training? Yeah, everyone came through training. Robbie is a bit of a niggle, um, and we're finding out about that today. I'm sure there'll be some information on that tomorrow. Robbie Henshaw. Um, you're a part of Irish teams that have big wins, and they didn't wear any back to the It was kind of a, a bit of a boost of the period. What, what's been the key to Ireland? Um, I think I, I think being able to not rely 
massively on emotion is, is a big part of it. I think it, it's always a big strength of ours, how much the lads love playing for Ireland, how, how important the kind of history of the team is. You know, you would have seen that during the Six Nations with, with, when we, we had a great week before we played France when we, we, were, we had a discussion about the anthems. And I think the lads love playing for each other. They love playing for Ireland. They love pulling on the jersey and what it, what it means and all that. But we probably don't. That's kind of the icing on the cake now rather than the whole cake. And uh, uh, I think probably in fairness, it, it would have come in under Joe and that ability to just be focused on what's right in front of you and not what's too far ahead of you. Uh, um, I think they have a big appetite around just getting better and improving um, both individually and as a group. Um, and when you get, I think when you get into just getting better, when the focus is all about getting better, you can kind of, you know, you acknowledge the significance of what might happen if you win a game at the weekend for sure. But you're kind of able to ignore it a little bit then as well. Thanks, Jerry. Yeah, we just had that. Uh, just had that conversation with with, with the doctor today. Um, um, that's exactly what it is now this weekend, really, for us. Um, you know, we're aware of the permutations, but the focus really is on winning. Okay. Um, only last question, please. Um, why are you playing so well? Eating. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. Yeah. Why are you playing so well? Why, 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 um, geez, it's I say it's not up. It's, it's from the whole team, really. Um, it's, yeah, it's from the team, not from me. I'm just getting on the back end of obviously what he's doing with the forwards and getting good front football, and then me on top of it. So no, I think it's a, it's a collective. Um, I wouldn't say it's just me playing well. I think there's a whole lot of us that's playing really well. I'm just probably getting the end of the stick of it. So yeah. Yeah, I am. I'm enjoying rugby. Um, I think the as a group and as a team, we're enjoying each other's company, um, and it's, it's it's really fun at the moment. But we all know that what lies ahead in the competition that's coming. Um, so yeah. Well, yeah. There's a lot of competition in the centre. Does does that drive your own form of performances of having the likes of Gary and Robbie and Stu? Yeah, I think it's, there's always been a competition in the midfield, um, which is very good, um, especially when everyone's healthy. Um, everyone, you know, it brings out the best of everyone. Um, and I think that's the healthy thing about us in the sense is everyone's trying to help out each other. If you're selected or not selected, um, you're trying to make sure, uh, make sure that everyone's got the, prepared really well for what's coming in front of us. So, um, you know... When you have healthy centres and good centres around you, 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 uh, you tend to put your best foot forward and make sure that you're on top of it. Thanks, Jake. Uh, Bundy, I presume you got to know the Spanish lads on the Lions tour. Just wondering what was you and Mario? Hey, he's a good lad. He's actually a good lad. <laughs> um, I got along with Dewey very well. Um, he obviously, see on the pitch, he's a freakish of athlete. Um, he can make something out of nothing. He's quick, he's strong. Um, the threat that he poses uh, for Scotland is is unbelievable, and then not just him. You got the likes of Darcy, Finn, um, and the rest of the backline. Chris Harris, Charis, um, they're unbelievable athletes. Um, so no, we we got our hands uh, full this weekend, and there's going to be a massive threat for us. Um, I think probably we know, you know, the the answer I, I gave are probably the most the most important bits is is that they don't get too far ahead of themselves. They are good at, at staying in the moment and, and being present and and focusing on just what's in front of them. I mean, I know it sounds cliche, but it is something we talk about.